Today, I'm going to show you the Perplexity AI SEO tool that nobody is using but should be. And you're going to get access to the secret SEO weapon you didn't know existed because I only created it a few hours ago. This is using Perplexity. And if you're wondering if Perplexity actually ranks, you can see here they have more than doubled their SEO traffic over the last 12 months. You can see that using content from Perplexity, I've ranked number one on Google. And I'm going to give you instant access to this powerful Google Sheet Perplexity AI SEO automation that can basically do everything for you. You're also going to learn the easy Perplexity AI SEO one-click strategy that can automate content creation, top of maps, keyword research. Plus, I'll give you free access to all the tools, tips, and SEO workflows and everything else that I talk about today. Let's get into it. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to sign up to Perplexity. Once you've done that, inside the settings, we can just grab an API key. So if we go to API key over here, we can then take the API key, click on copy. And from there, we can go into this template example, as you can see right here, we can make a copy of it. And this is going to give us access to a Plexity AI SEO automation inside Google Sheets. And then you can basically automate anything. Now you can also integrate this with ChatGPT, as you can see. But for today, I'm going to focus on Perplexity. So I'm going to plug in my API key over here. We can start using these prompts and these outputs to automate SEO, right? Now, the key thing to note about Perplexity and the API key is that it can scrape live URLs, which is very different to say ChatGPT or Claude or most APIs that you get from AI. Why is that important? It's important because you get the latest and greatest information updated in real time. For example, if I ask Perplexity, what is this website about? We'll plug in this prompt, as you can see. And I'm going to put equals PPX. Then we shall take the cell. So I'll put equals PPLX equals A2, which is the reference. It's going to take a little minute to load, as you can see. And then it will generate the response with Perplexity API, right? And so the API is looking at this website and it's figuring out what it's about. Now, there's so much you can do to this, which I can show you in a minute including how you can, for example, automate keyword research, topical maps, content outlines, even content creation using this method, right? For example, you can see here with Perplexity, it said this website is about Julian Goldie, an SEO expert and owner of Goldie Agency who provides SEO services to help businesses, blah, 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 right? As it's figured out, okay, this is what this website is about using the API. Now, what we can also do is use this to generate a topical map. So I've said create an SEO topical maps for my website in the bird's niche, suggest relevant headings and subheadings. Basically, this is going to map out the architecture of my website in one single click. Now, you can customize this to whatever niche you're in. So you could be in the SEO niche, you could be in the birds niche. I've shown multiple different examples of websites ranking with AI over the years. And so if we plug in this formula, which takes the prompt from column A and generates the topical map, as you can see right here. And by the way, you can change any of these prompts as you want. But you can see here, for example, it's mapped out the whole topple map for us, right? So we've got the bird species and then it's mapped out the pages underneath that category. Why is that important? Because for example, if you look at websites that perform really well, even if they don't have any backlinks like cakesbymk.com, you can see that the way that they rank is by covering every single thing that would position them as an authority inside Google. And so by using this topical map method, you can easily map that whole process out in one single click, customized to your niche, by using this prompt and spreadsheet. Now, what you can also do is you can use this to analyze your competitors' websites, and then you can create a semantically relevant, but also entity optimized outline based on your competitors' content. So here's another example. So we can actually take a competitor's page like this, and then with this prompt right here, we can say equals PPLX, which is gonna call the API from Perplexity based on this URL. And let's say that's your competitor's URL. Give me semantically relevant entities and keywords and as I relevant to the keyword, right? Plus a short user intent focused outline for my keyword. Include the tools my competitors mentioned. The URL page to scrape is blah, blah, blah. And then it's actually created a keyword optimized content outline based on our competitors URL. It was incredibly simple and easy to do. And it generated in one single click. Now, once you've actually generated the content outline, as you can see right here, uh, you've got the semantically relevant entities, LSI keywords, user intent, focus, outline, etc. What you can do from here is actually use this prompt, as you can see, and you say equals PPLX. We insert the content outline that Perplexity use right here. Here, we're going to generate this content based on the prompt here. And as you can see right here, 
inside the content is generated based on the outline from above. So for example, what is the best rapid website indexer is the second title in here. Now you can see here is actually written the content inside Markdown format. So if we copy this content, we'll plug it down into a Markdown previewer, as you can see, and we've got the actual content formatted nicely, as we can see directly from our spreadsheet inside Perplexity. So basically it's taking the content outline based on our competitor. And then after that, it's generating the actual content and we can just preview that and get it nicely formatted with the Markdown Live preview document that I'm talking about today is going to be available to you at the end of the video. So for example, the Google Sheets template right here, here's a template, here's 200 other AI SEO prompts that I've tested. You could actually plug into the content. You've got the Markdown Live preview link and also the SEO checklist for just editing and quality controlling the content before you publish it because you don't want to publish this stuff without quality checking it, right? The other thing that I would say, and this is pretty cool. The other thing that I would say is if you actually use this in combination with something like Claude, you could actually get much better content out of it because Claude tends to be a better API for writing content. How do you do that? So you can actually go to extensions and then just get the Claude for Sheets extension, which is available for free for Google Sheets. Once you've installed that, you can plug in your API key and then you can put into Google Sheets equals Claude. And then once you've installed that and you've added your API key for Claude, we can put the exactly same prompt as you can see right here. Then it will actually generate the content with Claude directly inside the sheet, right? So just to recap, you've got your competitor's URL over here. Then you've generated the content outline with Perplexity. Why would you use Perplexity? Because it can scrape live URLs. Then you're going to generate the content with Claude, as you can see. Why would you use Claude? Because Claude is a superior API for writing content. And then you can just plug that content from Claude directly into Live Markdown Preview, as you can see, edit it with the checklist I gave you earlier, and you're good to go. So there's so much you can do with that. We've talked about how to, for example, summarize URLs. We've talked about how to generate topical maps and all the pages and keywords you can write about. We've talked about generating semantically relevant content outlines and also how to automate content creation with Claude using the content outline from Perplexity and how you can automate all of this using the one-click SEO tool that I'm giving you today. Now, if that seems a little bit too complex for you, I've actually created a couple of free keyword research tools and content creation tools, as you can see right here. So here's a keyword planner. If we say generate keywords for me, it will ask me like, what's my niche? We'll put SEO training as an example. And you can see with this one-click tool, it actually finds relevant keywords related to my niche in literally seconds. Another one is content creation. So for example, if we say create an article about the keyword SEO training Bangkok, then it can create the content and you just edit it with the SEO checklist that I've given you earlier. The other way that you can automate content creation, and again, you would quality control this before you publish it, but essentially you can use a template like this access to it is inside my free SAP. You can basically take your competitors URLs. Then you're going to do the outline with perplexity. Why would you use perplexity? Because again, it is based on the live URL. So it can scrape your competitors live URLs, which most AI APIs cannot do. And this is really important for SEO because the more you can reverse engineer your competitors content, the better. And then from there, you can route that information to Claude. Why would you use Claude? Because Claude is better for writing. And inside the Perplexity API, you only get Llama 3 for writing. And then you can create the introduction, the content creation, the slug, the title, and finally just draft that in WordPress before you quality check it directly inside WordPress, right? So you're always going to edit this stuff before you publish it. Why do you edit it? Because you don't want to publish spam. So you can see here it's actually taken the slug, the content, the title, and in the status section right here on WordPress, it puts it in draft before you publish your content. And then if you want to access that blueprint, you can just import it. And here's the template for you right here. So we've talked about three different ways that you can automate SEO using the methods from today. For example, Google Sheets automation, the free collection tools inside Plexi AI directly. And then finally with make.com as well. Another cool prompt that you can use on Perplexity that's really cool is you can actually find live content updates for your SEO content, right? So for example, if we put update article URL with the latest information on topic for SEO purposes, 
that would update the old article that we have. And as soon as there's new updates on that particular topic, we can use perplexity, which is connected to the internet to find the latest information on it. As an example of that, let's say there was new updates with the Google core update. I could say update this page with the latest information on the Google August core update for SEO purposes, hit enter. So it's going to do the research for me here. So you can see it's checking for the latest information. Is fetching and reading the current article, and then it's combining the new information with the existing article content to update it appropriately for SEO purposes. And if we scroll down right here, you can see it's summarized the latest details, it's found the latest updates. And that's a really easy way to do it. For example, it's even found the date that the core update was released. The other thing that I would say with Plexity is that it's actually really good for research, as you can see, right? So if we put in who is Julian Goldie into perplexity, as you can see, it's going to feed in a really nice bio of me. It basically gives me an overview, like a Wikipedia page, but directly on this person, right? And so if you need to research a particular topic or a particular person, this is a really good way to do it. If you type that directly into Google, as you can see, it's not really that useful. It doesn't feed in information about who I am or what I do, etc. And the information isn't organized into the most optimal way for research compared to perplexity. Now, because of that, you can actually change your default search engine on perplexity. So they always use perplexity if you're researching for a lot of SEO content, right? So if you want to do that, just go to this address. I've included it inside the SAP. Go to manage search engines, scroll down and inside search, just click on add. As you can see, we've got perplexity plugged in right there. So perplexity.ai. And if we scroll down to perplexity down here inside the site search section, we'll click on make default. And then if we type anything into our Chrome extension bar, it will come up directly with perplexity, which if I'm doing a lot of content research or I'm constantly using AI all day, makes more sense to have as the default versus Google, right? As just a recap, as promised, I've shown you the SEO secret weapon you didn't know existed because I created it a few hours ago, AKA the Google Sheets hack that turns AI into your personal SEO assistant. I've shown you the Perplexity AI one-click SEO strategy, and I've shown you how I use Perplexity AI and SEO to rank and automate content. Plus, if you want access to all of this, check out the free course. Links in the comments and description. Then from there, go to the free course, Perplexity, and this whole document plus the templates are right there. I've also got a slower version. And if you want to book in a free SEO strategy session about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO, feel free to put that in links in the comments and description. And we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits this month generate thousands of dollars in sales with SEO. On that call, you're going to get an SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, and we'll answer any questions that you have. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.